vlogmas part two hopefully today's video will not be as long as part one <laughs> which went up on a few days ago that was a long video so hopefully you watch that one you know where we are with vlogmas and this is part two and it will be a little bit shorter i hope i don't normally start a video at this time of day but i'm about to head out so i thought that i would start the vlog now because that way you get to come with me i'm going to what i hope will be a really good press event it's the launch of a little pop-up shop for jizu hair care which i'm very very excited to go to i didn't even realize i was on their press list so to receive the invitation i was really really happy <laughs> To say the least, I've washed my hair. You can't really tell because I've pinned it back. So I'm about to head in on the tube. So I thought I would just pin it back so it stays nice for the event. And I'm about to head in. I'm wearing just a plain kind of black top with glasses, with a shirred neck and cuffs, which I love. And then this gilet, which I got in the Reese sale, black leggings and my black Todd's boots, which are really noisy. Listen to this. It makes me laugh. <laughs> They're so squeaky. They're the most comfortable things, but they are so squeaky. I can hear myself coming a mile off. <laughs> anyway, we're heading in. I'm going in by tube just to make things easier because we're going into the heart of London, into Piccadilly. And yeah, I hope to take you with me. My makeup, I'm really liking my makeup today. I've done something really, really simple, which I will go into tomorrow. I don't have time now, but I will do a little makeup rundown tomorrow. But yeah, I'm really liking that. Let's go. crowds outside it's absolutely mental like literally you can hardly see <laughs> and this queue and on both sides but this queue goes on and on and on I mean Apparently it goes all the way, I can't now, I cannot walk all the way down there. I cannot walk all the way down there, but that queue goes from the store there all the way down to the station. It is mental. literally goes all the way down to Piccadilly Circus I think it is crazy crazy here while I'm heading home how beautiful does Fortnum and Mason's look I ought to cross over actually so you can see the windows the windows are stunning really traditional windows really traditional Christmassy windows so cute absolutely love them with a real French flair or is that just me I think so Good morning, 
my loves i've literally just walked in from the gym can't even talk walked in from the gym and um i have about five minutes <laughs> before i go to my orthodontist appointment to get these invisaligns sorted i <sighs> I don't know if I told you here on YouTube, I know I've been talking about it on Instagram, but we have a dog in our road that keeps biting the postman. I mean, it would be funny if it wasn't true, <laughs> but keeps biting the postman. And so, and I think the last time he bit the postman, it drew blood, like it was not good. So consequently, Royal Mail will not deliver to my end of the road, which is where the dog resides. I think it's one of my neighbors. And so we don't get any parcels, but also what's just as bad, I don't get the little red, sorry, I'm trying to take my bag off me, but I have to take my hood up to do it. We don't get the, red, the little red card that tells you that you've had a parcel missed. So I don't even know what we've got, if there's anything waiting. It was only because my daughter ordered something that she's been waiting for and waiting for. It is actually something that she ordered at Stylist Live. You will have seen it in a previous vlog when we were at Stylist Live. She ordered some underwear from New I hope I say that right. And it hadn't arrived and I thought this is very weird. But anyway, yesterday I emailed them to say like, where is it? And they sent me the tracking number. So I went there today. Oh my God, I'm just gonna insert here the footage of the bag that I've just picked up. He kept coming out with parcels at the sorting office and kept saying to me, there's more, there's more, there's more. The bag is as tall as me. I, I literally had to kind of shuffle it to the car. When I said to him, can I get a black bin liner for all these packages? He laughed at me. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna give you a Royal Mail bag because you're not gonna get these into a black bin liner. Absolutely ridiculous. So to any PRs who are watching this, who have sent me items, I am, so sorry that I haven't even acknowledged your items that you've sent to me, any products, but I didn't even know that you had sent them to me. However, they've all arrived today, so we'll have a lovely unboxing together. Let's do that because finally I have some packages and I've made a deal with the guy at the sorting office that I just go in once a week and pick up anything that is there, whether or not there's a red card saying you've missed a parcel. So this is the bag. You can see how big it is. I've already taken three parcels out of there, but that is the bag that I came back from the Royal Mail sorting office from. It literally comes up to my hips. It is packed full of all the packages that didn't make it to our house because of the dog that keeps biting the postman. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. So I have to go every week to go and pick up packages because they're not delivering. And I will probably have to go twice a week in the run up to Christmas. Anyway, I'm now rambling and I'm gonna be late. So I'm gonna to head to the orthodontist. These have been in for an extra month to what was originally planned. So you probably saw in a previous vlog that on November the 4th, these were I was supposed to be done with them, but I thought I needed a bit more movement. So let's come up close in the light. Is that too much light? This is my Invisalign in now. I still have the attachments in as well. So let's see what he says today. I feel like I want a couple of extra trays, like two, another month, basically two more trays just to take it to be perfect. You know, if you kind of, I've done it for like a year and a half now. So I might as well just do an extra month if he can get me the trays, let's see. I feel like I don't have time to change. I feel like I need to leave in the next five minutes. So I'm gonna go in my gym kit. <laughs> I'm sure he's seen worse. Just walking up to the orthodontist, but I am still not over this postal thing. I mean, I know there are postal strikes going on. That's something completely, completely separate, but control your dog. I mean, control your dog because he's bitten postman many times as I say the last time he actually drew blood and that's it they're just not coming and the whole street gets affected and you know I work from home it really affects me in terms of how I can do my work I'm just yeah I'm really really annoyed but anyway I shouldn't rant I um, 
I'm getting in a good walk here and heading to go and see Mervyn and uh, this could be the end of my journey I hope maybe I don't know let's see what he says good morning everyone I might be talking quietly but that's because I'm at the tube station I'm actually for the first time ever going on the Elizabeth line I have never been on the Elizabeth line before I know it's been open for ages but I've just not had a need to go I didn't need to go on it today but it just turns out it was the quickest journey but um, I haven't vlogged for a few days I've been quite quiet with the family but today I am meeting one of my oldest friends for lunch it's my university friend and we're going to the new Bacchanalia restaurant in Mayfair so so I have been to the gym this morning I did a really quick session came back washed the hair so it's looking a bit poofy and I'm just on my way to go and meet her now it's actually a belated birthday for her because her birthday was back well two months ago <laughs> but we haven't managed to get a date in that's what it's like so today we are hopefully celebrating her birthday with her properly get her a candle and a cake at the end and stuff i've arrived i'm a little bit early so it gives me time just to show you well the exterior for now so beautifully done can't wait to see what the inside looks like Wasting any dreams this Christmas. I've made my wish upon I am back from that lunch. Star. I've actually been back for a while and had dinner at home. Got caught in the rain on the way back, so you can see the hair is just kind of <laughs> just fallen and dropped. But I feel like I haven't really spoken to you very much today. Just a really lovely lunch at Bacchanalia. Bacchanalia don't know really nice though and bizarrely enough like with no idea why near the end of our lunch the um, head of guest relations came over to us introduced himself and gave us his card and was really really lovely <laughs> so I don't know what we did right but we definitely did something right and so that's good it's a good contact to have I'm wondering whether I yeah maybe I might, might do my birthday there my birthday is in literally four weeks so i've got to start thinking about that no one ever wants to do anything on my birthday because it's the week after new year and everyone's still you know everyone's detoxing or i don't know no one wants to do anything that early in january but we shall see anyway um just watched what was the game i just watched japan croatia on the world cup which went to penalties awful 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 penalties from japan such a shame i was rooting for japan to be honest just because i don't know just be good to see some different teams playing in the quarterfinals of the world cup if you didn't know i do actually love watching the world cup football and also the euro cup as well so we have england playing on saturday so <laughs> this is how much we watch it I've just cancelled dinner plans on Saturday night so that we can watch it because yeah, I want to watch it at home and yeah we cancelled dinner plans that's really sad but it is true it's okay we're out for dinner on Friday night as well so I'm not feeling too hard done by but we're gonna have a quiet evening tonight I think there's another match tonight that I want to watch I think it's Brazil playing which it will be really really good fun so I'm gonna watch that good morning my lovelies I am looking really really tired today but I am heading out for a nice lunch with a girlfriend of mine and we're going to somewhere really nice we're going to one of London's private members clubs one of the loveliest so I thought I would do my makeup with you because last week I posted a photograph on Instagram stories it was just a really quick photo of my makeup and I don't think I've ever had as many comments about the makeup as I did for that and it was the simplest thing it wasn't kind of like a big makeup I think that's kind of sometimes the way though isn't it like you kind of 
you think you just just do something really quickly and that's what people like <laughs> so I thought that I would do that with you because I had a lot of questions about it and how I did it and I'm going to do the same makeup again I'm looking for my makeup uh, I'm going to do exactly the same makeup again so I thought I would do it with you I've got all my skincare on my SPF on and I am ready to go so I'm just going to do oh, my hairband on I'm going to do my makeup with you before I decide I don't even know what I'm going to wear to be honest Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation this is in the shade 7.8 I have actually got seven for when I'm even lighter in the depths of winter which will happen really soon so I just take one pump and that is enough really to be honest and I'll distribute it all over with my finger and then and I've got a really runny nose it's freezing outside I've been outside a few times favorite, favorite foundation brush this is from Hourglass so this morning I had a dentist appointment just a checkup nothing to do with the braces or anything like that just a checkup I was supposed to see the hygienist as well but she had to take her son to the doctor so she wasn't there so I've had to rearrange that for Thursday and yeah I was in and out in five minutes I swear this new toothbrush that I've got is making such a difference to how clean my teeth are and I'm very happy with it only thing is I paid full price for it and then I saw it went to I think less than half price in the Black Friday sales but hey ho that is sometimes the way things go so yeah, one pump of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and it's just perfect. And then, and then this is the Hourglass Concealer. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm just going to place a little bit there. I don't need too much because it's actually very, very pigmented and very high coverage. So I'm just going to place a little bit there and there. And because I have a bit of pigmentation, I'm going to just add a little bit there as well. I'm just going to let that sit while I do my eyes. So for my eyes, this is really, really old. This is one of the By Terry Ombre Black Star, I think it is. Anyway, it's in a beautiful bronze colour. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids. And this is a great base for eyeshadow as well, if you wanted to use it as a base. But I just love this colour. It's just like this kind of golden bronze almost like my eyelids but much 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 better <laughs> mine's kind of drying out now because it's so old but I just love it so I'm making it work it kind of warms up a little bit when I get it onto the skin and I'm pretty sure I'm going to repurchase this when I run out of it I don't know if you can see if I come in close Anyway, so as I was saying, I went to the dentist and on the way back, I went back to the postal sorting office, just blending that in with my fingers. And I had yet another sack full of deliveries to pick up and loads of letters as well. That's what's really worrying, letters that probably need attention, replies, whatever. So it's not just the parcels that aren't coming through, it's the letters as well. I mean... I don't know how long this situation is going to go on for. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, next I'm going in with my favourite Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. And I'm using this golden shade in my crease. It's not matte. It's actually a little bit of a shimmery. I don't know. But it adds some depth and I used to use this all over my eyes but since rediscovering my by terry ombre black star i like using this in my crease because it's a little bit darker and i bring it quite high up because my eyes are beginning to be a little bit hooded so i have to bring up the darker shade quite high up just so that it gets seen otherwise it just gets lost in my look <laughs> in my crease thing to do is look straight into the mirror and don't raise your eyebrows like we all do this when we're doing our eyeshadow don't do it <laughs> I'm telling you from experience just as you would if you were looking out straight ahead and that way you can actually see the shade above the eyes <laughs> above the eyelids 
and then I'll just blend that. It's really all I'm doing for my eyes. It was that simple. When did I do this makeup? And everyone loved it. I think it was when I went for the Jizu pop-up launch event. I know I look stupid with this concealer like this, but I just like to let it sit for a while. I find I get a better coverage. Right, black eyeliner as always, which I'm gonna have to do down on my mirror here. So you won't be able to see me do it. So I've done my outer corners just to lift my eyes and then I'll take it back over the lash line. And then I always take it into my upper waterline as well. This is waterproof, so it will stay. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but I also really love the one from Trish McAvoy, which I haven't had in my makeup for a long, long time, but I just got one in my advent calendar. So I'm very happy about that. And it's in black. Quite often in advent calendars, you get colors you don't want, um, but that one is the one I want. Where's my brush? I'm just blending in my concealer under my eyes. Such a good concealer, this one. I think it has a slight peachy undertone, which is great because it knocks back the dark circles like, like nothing else I've used. I think this is even better than the Kevin O'Quan one that I used to swear by. Well, I still swear by it, but you know, this one I just find is even better. Curling my lashes. This is the Troy Surratt eyelash curler, which I love because it's super wide this way and it opens wide this way too. And I've no idea what I'm going to wear, no idea whatsoever, because I'm going to go in on the tube, which means I don't want to get too dressy. I don't like being dressy on the tube, but I want to look dressy <laughs> for the lunch. So it's, I don't know, I don't know what to wear. I'll probably end up wearing black leather jeans or trousers again because that's what I live in always makes all the difference the Dior show primer and I'm just going to let that sit for a minute while I do my bronzer and blusher this is the hourglass bronzer it's just quite a natural bronzer it's not too much which I think for this time of the year is perfect What do you think? Filming my makeup. Blusher is the Milani Luminoso, as always. Are you oh, I'm talking to both. Oh. <laughs> if you're talking to me, I'm answering you. Otherwise, I'm talking to the camera. Yeah. And mascara is the one that I'm loving from Delilah Cosmetics. And because I've used that primer, literally one coat of this mascara is enough. Don't want it to look too much. They can look fake actually if you use that primer because it's so good. My eyebrow pencil is also from Delilah Cosmetics. So I brush my eyebrows down a little bit and then fill in the gaps before I brush them back up again. That's it really. Lipstick I will do at the end, so I will show you that afterwards. But yeah, kind of really done. I might just set... Where's my powder? I want to just set my under eyes, but I don't know where my powder's gone. Hmm. I'll be back. For my under eyes, I find my powder. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Loose Powder. Patting in a little bit. I don't really bake because I'm too dry under my eyes already, so I just pat in a tiny bit there and I'm just going to put a little bit down here where I also use the concealer. That's it, now I have to work out <laughs> what to wear and do my hair. Okay, I am dressed, when in doubt, <laughs> always in black. This is a sleeveless jumper with these gorgeous pearls on it. I can't remember who it's by but I can't link it either because it's old but I'll see if I can find something similar and put it in the description box below. I'm wearing a little Chanel jacket, which I actually bought pre-loved and I love it. I mean, I would never spend the kind of money on a new Chanel jacket. It's just silly money. I can't even afford it anyway. Even if I could, I wouldn't spend it. This is a pre-loved one. My trusty Anine, Anine Bing, Anina Bing, leather trousers and then 
the boots that I am living in, these are the Todd's boots that I got in the glossy black. I am literally living in either these or the tan version that I bought at the beginning of the season. I absolutely love them. They are so comfortable. Even if these leather ones are a little bit squeaky, I love them. And then I'm gonna wear the black sheepskin coat that I've also been living in from Max Mara, which I think I talked about in my most recent vlog. Love this. As I said, I bought this on sale such a long time ago and never wore it. And now I can't not wear it. So I'm kind of ready, I think. That is my outfit of the day for lunch at Hartford Street.